Okay, we're back live from the Fly the W studio. It's Chris Trubb here in Greenville, South Carolina. Friday night here, April 3rd, day, who knows, of this uh, 2020 quarantine. You see we got the, uh, the big W here hanging on the wall. Of course, there's no baseball uh, for who knows how long. Um, so back to entertain you once again with another uh, edition of... Um, the Political Machine 2020. Now, I played a whole lot last night. I also uh, had some bourbon last night. So if you want a good laugh at my antics, uh, I played as Andrew Yang and I lost. And then I was so determined uh, that I decided I was going to play again as Andrew Yang and I lost again. Uh, and then uh, a couple hours later, after some more uh, beverages, I uh, came back uh, for even more um, and got destroyed. So, uh, it turns out, uh, <laughs> it turns out you do not have, uh, exponentially better results, uh, as, uh, the evening goes on. Uh, so no beverages tonight. We're going to pass on the, uh, the bourbon, but we will get out our important announcements here first. Make sure that you, uh, check your voter registration, uh, status, um, if we're in the lead up here to the 2020 election, or if you're watching this sometime beyond the 2020 election. Um, you can go to vote.org to register to vote or uh, double check, triple check your registration. Make sure that you are using your uh, voice and using your vote um, as an American. Uh, and no matter where you are in the world, you should vote anywhere. Um, you can follow me on Twitter at Chris Strub. You can follow me on Instagram at Chris Strub. And of course, you can subscribe uh, here on my channel. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, it's been cool to see some of these videos. Some of you guys are actually watching. So uh, if you are watching, do me a favor. Leave a comment. Let me know uh, kind of where you're watching from. Let me know what matchups you want to see. Uh, you know, it's fun to play. It's This is a really simple setup, to be honest with you. It's so easy to play this game this way. Uh, again, I know the graphics might be a little bit behind, but I think it's good enough. Um, and again, I'm not buying a new uh, computer just for gaming purposes. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to get back outside and, and uh, socialize and congregate again uh, pretty soon here. Let me, uh, let me show you here the, the sunset. Open switcher studio. I'll give you a quick look out the window here um, using this other camera. Let me just add it in real quick and show you kind of what we got going on. Jump in here. There you go. Isn't that gorgeous out there? I know it's it's not tremendously easy to see, but I think you get the idea that it's it's just a, an absolutely spectacular. Friday night here in Greenville. Alexa, what's the temperature outside? Right now, it's 76 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> Tonight, expect a low of 52 degrees. 76 degrees and just magnificent here uh, on the west end of Greenville. Let's see a little, little bug crawling across the window there. Um, so, I guess I could have done that and see uh, kind of what we're, and again, we're using an app called Switcher Studio here to, to do this. So you see, I can actually um, manipulate around and show you guys a few different angles. See, I've got the uh, iPhone here in my hand. I've got another iPhone here that we're uh, using to get things set up. There's the Switcher interface there. And you can see the computer screen, which we're gonna go big to here in a minute. Um, so we'll just get that resituated here. We'll fire up the computer screen. We'll say goodnight to this phone here. And let's get going. We're going to play tonight as Michael Bloomberg. I have not yet played this game as Michael, as Michael Bloomberg. Uh, we may reach a point with this series where I will have played as all of the different candidates. Then we'll maybe start to mix up the, the uh, 
GOP candidates. I'll, I'm sure I'll play some games of the GOP. Uh, we'll, we'll get there. I, I don't see this uh, this content series coming to an end anytime soon. Um, but I'm very fascinated to see both how much money Michael Bloomberg starts with and, of course, how that's going to impact the game. Um, certainly, this will be a totally different style than playing, as I did last night, as Tulsi Gabbard and Andrew Yang. So let's do it. And again, thank you guys for watching. There's about 11 billion things that you can watch on YouTube, of course, uh, not to mention Netflix and Amazon and all these different places that you can watch content. If you're choosing to watch me, uh, thank you so much. Even if you don't comment, totally cool. Um, I appreciate you, I really do. Again, we'll stick with all the standard options, normal difficulty, 21 weeks, average randomness. Now, like I said, this will be my first time playing as Mike Bloomberg. We'll take a look here. Starting money tycoon, which will be nice. We'll see what that equates to. I don't know what that number is going to be. But we shouldn't have to worry too much about fundraising. I don't think he's going to be a very good fundraiser anyway because he's got cold fish charisma. Very little minority appeal. Um, normal stamina, so we'll, we'll work with that. Former mayor of New York, Mike Bloomberg, now runs as a Democrat, championing, championing a mix of business-friendly economic policies alongside more traditional liberal issues such as gun control and addressing climate change. All right, let's see how this goes. And we're gonna stick with our candidate Trump. Four million? I was expecting like 10 million. Oh, golly, we're in trouble. So $4 million in, in this game is not a ton of money. I mean, it's, it's, it's good. It's better than starting with three or two and a half, but um, we're going to have some problems. I guess he's got a pretty good fundraising ability. Nice little 500,000. Oops. Another town hall.
This, of course, this is the establishment Democrat uh, ideology plank. If you watch these videos, you know that I always talk about the importance of building your ideology as quickly as you can. So we'll start with social justice. Another town hall. There you go. Mike Bloomberg going in hard on reducing wealth inequality. Still early here. That's gonna be good. Nice little celebrity endorsement in Florida always helps. Anything in Florida helps. We'll do the cold cut show. Boy, Bloomberg has a giant head. Healthcare question, huh? All right, well, that performance is what it is. I don't know why that keeps happening where it's shifting the map. So I did my fundraising in New York, Texas, and California. We're at six million now. So let's start spending some money. Spend it, spend it, spend it, spend it. 
Where are we going? There, we're getting town halls everywhere here. Damn, so you gotta be real quick. We're going all in with the economic platform here. Uh, no, we'll not, we're, we'll, we'll wait. We'll, we're gonna gamble and wait here and see if we keep getting that high occurrence of town halls. We'll grab whatever this question mark is, cross your fingers. Take that. Vice President time. I'll go with Klobuchar. Sounds good to me. Maybe she can help in Minnesota. Looks like he went with Dan Crenshaw. I'm not sure I've seen, I'm not sure I've played a game yet where the computer actually picked Mike Pence as the running mate, which is kind of funny to me. happens damn it <laughs> you see how quick you got to be with these things Oh no, there's a town hall up in Alaska that I just missed. That's a big problem. That's a big problem. That might cost me the race. It was hiding over in Alaska. You can see on the, uh, on the screen here where my webcam usually is, it's covering Alaska, but I can see it because I'm looking at the whole screen, but they put the town hall like here, <laughs> like where you would never think to look for it. And I just missed it. So uh, you guys know how important these ideology points are. Um, that might've just cost me the game. I, that's the first town hall I've missed. And I'm not even, I don't think I missed a town hall last night and I had a good amount of bourbon. Um, tonight I'm not drinking anything and I missed a town hall.
Yikes. Why would you put a town hall in Alaska? I mean, that just... That, that hurt. I'm gonna skip good day because I'm just tired of doing those stupid shows. Play Colorado. Pretty close race. Gotta spend it, gotta spend it, gotta spend it. What do we got? Oh, the irony of Bloomberg coming out in favor of taxing the rich. But you gotta spend those ideology points. Can make a little play at Louisiana. That's all right. All right. Well, my enthusiasm here in Florida is already 100%. So there's no reason to have a cheerleader here in Florida. So let's move her.
Now he's winning California, big time. Look at how close that is. Right now, uh, as we stand, 271 to 267. So do I go hard and try and take back California? Probably. 52 to 42, but I've got a month. I can go back out there and fundraise too. Can't spend these ideology points until I get 11. Free political operative is huge. I don't want to lose Florida, but I also definitely really want to win California. Let's stick with what we got here for now. Take a closer look here at the issues in California. And we want to drop him down on the coronavirus out here. I mean, I've got a pretty good lock on that Midwestern block there. Take another closer look here. Looking good. Not really worth going to Alaska just for the three. It's down on the wire. This is week 21. Ooh, there's a town hall up there. Can I get it spent? Can I get it spent? If I do this, I win. Oh yeah. I didn't even see what I just bought. Education? That, 
That's the nail in the coffin right there. Doesn't he, I could just skip the rest of this turn. Rub it, rub it in a little bit here. Do I have a chance to win Florida? Maybe. But I've got enough money to run one more ad. No, I don't have enough money to do that. Oh, wait, you can do whatever you want the last week. All right, it's election night 2020. Tycoon, former New York City Mayor Mike Bloomberg is representing the Democrats here tonight against the 45th president, Donald John Trump. Uh, I'm feeling pretty dang good about my chances in this game. Turns out uh, sticking with water is probably the play. <laughs> um, Looks like we're gonna have some pretty favorable results. So let's hit that play button and see kind of how we do. Three, two, one, rock and roll. Cheers to you. Will we have President Bloomberg or stick with President Trump? I lost Virginia, lost Florida, pulled out Ohio, so that's good. Did I win Kentucky? Yep. Michigan? Give me Indiana. Wisconsin? Give me Minnesota, too. Did I pull out? Ooh. Thought I might have a chance in Louisiana. This is a trouncing. It's over. And why is it over? Because I turned California blue in the last month there. Easy victory. Take a look at the exit polls real quick. We're not even going to go state by state here. It's 8 o'clock here at the East. I'm going to tune in and watch Anderson Cooper here momentarily. But you can see 320 to 218 um, just smoked, smoked them across the board. Won by almost 10 million votes in the popular vote. Spent more money than he did. Spent more than, spent 29 ideology points which was a huge factor in this game. Just absolutely tore them to pieces here. 320 to 218. This is the biggest win that I've had in this game yet. I'll take it. Thanks for watching, guys. Chris Strub here in the Fly the W Studios. Um, really glad, uh, really grateful that you spent your time watching this uh, just, this, this uh, defenestration here, this disembowelment of, uh, of the, uh, the incumbent here uh, and his running mate, Dan Crenshaw, uh, ending, spending his election night in Nebraska for some reason. Um, what a game. What a show. What a life. Adam Shine, miss you, buddy. Um, that's it. Go back to the results. We'll sign off. Thanks for tuning in. And I will... Uh, See you guys next time um, here from the Fly the W Studios. Appreciate your time, and uh, we'll see you soon.